The Kibbe Carillon at the Washington National Cathedral is home to the world's third leviest set of bells. Tonight, Allison Kenworthy gives us a, a look at the unique look and listen to the Carillon bells. We are now standing in the south transept overcroft of the cathedral. We are above the rose window. Some people call this the cathedral's attic. Although we have stairs leading to the bells, I generally take the elevator so that I can play the bells more quickly. Here we are at the level two of the central tower, the Carillon level. We have 53 cast bronze bells that are hanging from the steel frame. The bells range in size from 24,000 pounds down to 17 pounds. Altogether, the bells weigh 64 tons. Carillon is a French word which originally means bells that are struck. These bells don't swing. The carillon bell is played by a clapper inside an iron ball which strikes the side of the bell. This is where the bells are played from. Well, the carillon has manual keys, which I can play with my hands, and then it also has a pedal board like an organ, which I can play with my feet. The keys that I play with my hands and the pedals are all touch sensitive, so depending on how hard I press the key will be the volume of the bell. There's quite a bit of coordination that's involved. You have to read the music, first of all, and then play different notes in your hands, which are spaced all over the keyboard, plus play your feet, and you just can't be looking at everything. Peripheral vision is a huge factor. When I play the bells, I'm usually by myself, but it's not a lonesome job because I know the audience is out there. They hear the bells for up to a mile from the cathedral, whether they want to or not. Now I'll play a piece by Johann Sebastian Bach. And I never dreamed that I would be here playing the bells. I feel now that I've really achieved something. Some interesting tidbits. The bells are extremely durable. They don't rust or change tune. There is very little maintenance required, which is a good thing because during the winter months, snow comes into the tower and rests on the bells. And when it rains, the bells get wet. Uh, Allison Kenworthy joins me now with a little bit more facts on this because you did a great job covering that. Thank you. When can we, uh, can, when can we hear those? Every Saturday at 12.30 in the afternoon, and you can go to the Bishop's Garden, which is on the grounds of the cathedral. It's a beautiful garden, and you can hear the bells. How long has he been playing those? He's been playing the bells since the 70s, and it's unbelievable because he's still learning it, but he's been at the cathedral uh, for about 20 years. Now, you said what? These are the third heaviest set in the... 64 tons. Wow. So they range from 17 pounds to 24,000 pounds, and there's 53 bells. Where else can we find carillons around the country? They're there mostly, are a lot of them, There are. There are about 180, um, maybe even more than that, and they're mostly found on the East Coast. Now, you mentioned in the, uh, in the story that the, it's a French word. It so, is. Because people always are not sure how to pronounce it, but it's carillon. And then he is a caroloner. Oh, how interesting. Mm -hmm. Allison Kenworthy, fascinating. Thank Thanks you. For Thank you by. for having me. We've got more coming up. We'll be right back.